Hi, my name is Angie Atkinson. I'm a certified life coach and author and a survivor of narcissistic abuse and relationships. Today at QueenBeing.com, we are going to discuss what we all most want from narcissists but are not able to get from narcissists. And this is our second video in this series. In our first video, we discussed narcissists and how they've taught us that we are not good enough or smart enough or pretty enough or that we're lazy or that we're crazy or whatever they've taught us and how to release those perceptions and develop our own. Today we're going to, like I said, we're going to cover um, what we most want and how we can get it for ourselves because we're not going to get it from the narcissist. So let's get started. So the first thing we most want is validation. So that's we want to know that we're not alone we want to know that it's not our fault the abuse that we're suffering the the verbal and the mental and emotional abuse it's it's not our fault um, we want to know that we're good enough and that we deserve to have nice things um, we want to be validated we want our thoughts to be heard we want our beliefs to be understood we want to be understood and we want to understand but what happens when you're involved with a narcissist is that often those things aren't something that you get on the regular basis those things become luxuries and when you meet someone who tries to validate you after a while you might start to suspect that they're trying to get something from you it's it's a really ugly cycle so number two unconditional love um, we want the kind of love that has no strings attached the kind of love that doesn't require us to change we want to be loved in a way that you know an ideal mother would love a child or you know in a selfless way but many of us have never experienced this in our lifetime and we don't really know how to accept it if it comes to us so that's our number two need love unconditional number three is freedom from oppression what do I mean by that well you want the freedom to first become the best possible version of yourself. See, when you're involved with a narcissist, a lot of times because of those messages that the narcissist tells you about yourself, as well as because of the level of, of pressure and overbearing oppression that you deal with on a regular basis because of the narcissist, um, you know, you, you find yourself not being who you really are or becoming some shell of yourself or some less awesome version of who you could be um, and the thing is that if you're going to become happy you've got to find freedom and I mean mental freedom emotional freedom and even physical freedom you have to have the freedom to to evolve the freedom to be who you are and a lot of times when we're involved with narcissists we simply don't have that freedom so those are the three needs let's review them one more time number one we want validation number two we want unconditional love and number three we want freedom from oppression and and here's the kicker my friend the kicker is the only way to get validation the only way to get unconditional love the only way to get freedom from oppression my friend listen up I hope you're sitting down I'm about to blow your mind the only way to get those things is to give them to yourself do you understand me give them to yourself you cannot you cannot get them from anyone else if you are not willing to give yourself validation believe that you are good enough believe that you are smart and you are capable if you're not willing to give yourself unconditional love without strings attached if you can't learn to look at yourself in the mirror and think oh my gosh you're so amazing and beautiful or handsome or whatever never gonna do it keep trying I know it's hard I know it sounds like bullshit right now bear with me we're gonna get it okay and number three, freedom from oppression. If you cannot give yourself the freedom to become the best possible version of yourself, my friend, you're never going to be happy. And you know what? You deserve to be happy. I promise you, you deserve it. Anyway, what you have to do, what you have to do is believe. Believe that you're good enough. Believe that you're smart enough, pretty enough, rich enough. Believe that you are worth unconditional love believe that you have freedom from oppression and begin to live as if you do because that is how you will get there that's how you have to just do it be it have it believe it next time we're going to discuss your abuse story we're going to discuss how to understand the abuse that you experienced and how to release it 
and we're going to discuss how you can begin to choose your own adventures from now on. How exciting is that? All right, um, this is all I have for today. I will see you soon, but until then, if you need to know more information about narcissistic abuse recovery or narcissistic personality disorder in relationships, you can visit queenbeing.com. Tons of free information, tools, um, downloads, anything you could want. If you're looking for something interactive, you can visit um, NarcissismSupportCoach.com and that's where you're going to find a free five-day fear-busting course that is specifically designed for narcissistic abuse survivors. Um, the other thing that you might want to check out um, are my books at BooksAngieWrote.com. You will s several books on, on narcissism and narcissistic abuse recovery. I've also got a couple courses at Udemy, um, at Udemy.com, I think it's user Angie Atkinson, uh, but you can get all of that information from QueenBeing.com. All right, um, until next time, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching and have a great day.